nasty. Hmm. Okay, so it's been about 600 miles since I've changed the power steering pump. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take most of the fluid out and uh, put some tranny fluid in. Uh, this model you can use automatic transmission fluid, just regular stuff, and uh, it'll be good to go. Um, I know you can do this with a Ford Expedition, probably an Excursion, and an F-150, and a few others. Um, but just check with other manufacturers, like a Honda or whatever, if you have one of those. Some are usually different. Uh, but yeah, this one will work with a ATF. And it's mostly tranny fluid in there, so let's see how bad it looks. Okay, here we go. This is what we pulled out last time when we did the pump. This is the nasty stuff. I'm obviously not putting that in there. Hey, where does this random cobweb come from? Piss me off. It's just training fluid, it's not gonna hurt your paint. Although I would avoid it as much as possible. Any fluids like engine, oil, anything like that, I would still just avoid getting in your paint. That shit's nasty. I'm gonna get like a little pump thing. I mean, this is just, this is dirty. I'm doing this while it's hot because it's it, the reservoir level it does rise when you get it hot, according to an anonymous automotive source. Yo, it's kind of warm, so I can get most of it out of there. You might want to do this a few times. Just make sure you get most of it out, and then wipe away all this. Extra crap. Wipe this all off. I kinda wanna order a new one of these. Or at least uh, a new O-ring. I could probably go get one from like a hardware store. Or I could just order a brand new cap. Spread that over that so much dirt gets in there. Here's the training fluid. Dextron mixer or DM3. I'll just set that right there. This is the final I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this off. You wanna avoid as much dirt as possible. You don't want that get in there and ruin your power steering pump. The fortunate, unfortunate part is the fluid in here is not the best. It's been kinda dirty because of those hoses. But if you can keep it clean, it'll be good. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we got most of it out. You wanna pour it until it fills up about halfway, and then run the engine for a little bit and then turn your wheels lock to lock. Yeah, it says nice and red, like it should be. The way they do it, like baffling, is they you run the engine and they suck the fluid out and then put some in or put some detergent in there and they, they keep doing this until they get most of it clean and then um, and they keep, you keep running it. It's a very tedious task. You keep trying to steering wheel lock to lock and um, eventually get it to where it's all clean and you're all good to go. And you want to turn the wheels slowly too. That's my tip. Just to make sure you get all the air out pretty quick.
That was a lot easier. Before it wouldn't even turn all the way. But the pulley is slipping a little bit because it's got a little bit of, of um, oil on it because when I was uh, handling it, I my hands were greasy, so. Oh, and I'll put your cap on. Do that for I don't know a couple more times, um, just to get that pretty much clean. And uh, power steering is uh, much easier though on this, the new pump and with the fluid uh, air free. Um, that little noise you hear there, that's just it working. Uh, it may go down a little bit if you get more air out, um, but there might be still kind of redundant here. But there might be a little bit of air in there still, but it'll quiet down if you drive it around quite a bit. Uh, but anyways, that's kind of it for this video. After you change your pump, you do this after 500 miles, uh, and uh, it'll extend the life of the pump.